Great, so I'm here with uh, Carolyn uh, McCurdy from the US State Department. Um, and um, Carolyn, we've, we've been talking about the US's really unique philanthropic culture. And I, I, I wondered, what do you think it is about? What, what is so different about the way that America reaches out to help to try and make sense of solving problems like the global water crisis? Right, so I think you have to go back to um, you know, our culture and our character as a nation, as our founding. Um, really what's, I think, uh, profoundly different is the fact that we started uh, you know, as a democracy, the world's first democracy. And it's the associations on the local level and everything being community-based and people making the decisions for themselves. And in effect, um, you know, governing themselves. So it also meant that people had to help one another based on the community. And so they, uh, communities came together to uh, fund themselves and did not look so much upwards towards a king or a potentate to um, you know, create their own successes and to, to govern themselves. Because so, uh, I've been very familiar, you know, I've seen to, to ACVO recently, really, you know, sort of encountering, say, for example, church-based networks are doing incredible work to, you know, raise money for international development projects. And, and it, there's often this real, really impressive ability of, of these sort of networks to sort of raise money and, and sort of make a difference. Well, I, that also is part of our founding as well. We were, you know, we were founded uh, largely as a, a Christian uh, country with the Puritans who came over first. So, you know, religion's a very strong part of our, our society. Uh, and so you find that people associate themselves through their, through their churches and now more days through mosques and uh, through other, and through synagogues yeah. um, as our diversity's grown as a nation. But still, that uh, history of association on a local community-based level and charity, and you know our motto is charity starts at home. Yeah. Um, so that's where a lot of this comes from. So it's a lot of grassroots-based charitable organizations, and that tends to translate into our um, charitable giving abroad. You'll also find that actually uh, charitable organizations actually give more than our government does. Yeah, uh, and that's that's quite a contrast to that. For example, I'm I'm from the UK, but you know for most Europeans, they used to. The government, they, they pay taxes to the government, and then the government decides where, how much of their tax is spent on development aid. It's right. It's very different in the States. Yeah, it is very it? different. And actually, out of um, this culture of, of giving uh, at the local level, we actually developed uh, legislation that supported that, so that if you give money, um, it's actually a deduction from your taxes. So any individual who gives a portion of their own income to charity, you can deduct that. And charitable organizations, which are known as 501c3s, um, also you know, are tax-deductible organizations. So that if you give money to a charitable organization um, that's registered, that money becomes a portion of your tax deduction yeah. as well. So we've institutionalized charitable giving as well, which is another reason why so much of it comes from the private sector. Yeah. Where, do, where do the overlaps between uh, government and, and philanthropy philanthropic networks sort of apply though. There must be a whole bunch of areas where where the two collaborate. Well, we certainly have plenty of partnerships uh, with the, with private philanthropic uh, networks where we, as government, give a small seed funding. Yep. And we hope that through our seed funding that we leverage a lot of funding from other private sector donors, from other governors, governments, from bilateral partners, and also from multilateral partners. Yeah. Great. Well, really good talking to you. And um, yeah, I hope to see you again. Thanks. Great. Thanks for being at the Water Cube. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye.